what's up guys back with another video uh today i will be pressure washing the uh chassis on this on the truck getting all the surfaces off of it all the all this nasty grime on the differential and all of this on top of the fuel tank and getting the chassis painted black pick this up so I'll focus some undercoating for it I did it on a couple of these trucks and it worked pretty good uh, it's nothing nothing fancy just something that I know it's gonna make a difference on it you're not gonna be able to see it but I know it's gonna be there so I'm gonna make sure it's nice clean got the pressure washer out already and I'm going to be spraying some degreaser on it. And yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. And after that, I just plan on finishing sanding all of that down. So I'm going to pull the truck out and get everything ready for it. All right, guys, I just, uh, it's hot. Uh, I just took the truck out the garage. And I actually did end up taking the back bumper off just so I can spray everything a little bit better so I got the pressure washer out I'm about to turn it on and spray some degrees on it real quick just so I can take off some of the uh, dirt and grime off of it a little bit easier so I'll just some of this just surface rust hopefully it all, all can come off and then after that, I'll just be hitting it, hitting it with a couple cuts of that black paint that I picked up. So, yeah, let me do that real quick. I just um I just sprayed down real quick with some degrees here. I'm gonna spray it again. Um then I'm gonna hit it up with the pressure washer. I'm gonna just I'm also gonna clean the wheels and tires just because that's when I had noticed. You can tell I had like a little groove because of the bed. I'll show you guys the bed here after I finish this. And I'll show you why I told you I'd, I'd prefer to get a new bed instead of fixing it. But uh, yeah, let me get right into this.
right, guys, just finished um, pressure washing the chassis. Looks a little bit better. Some of that green stuff came off. Um, a lot of dirt came off, a lot. You can tell. And right now, I'm just going to let it dry. It'll probably be drying like five, five minutes. And then I'm just gonna pull it back into the garage and start spray painting it. And one thing I'm gonna do is take off the struts of both sides so I don't get any overspray on that. And even though I'll change these out later on, I just, I just, in case I put them back on. But yeah, I'm just, this almost dry. I'll go show y'all guys the bed and how it looks. So here you go. The, this is the bed. I was just testing out to see how these these would come out, but right here. Oh my god. Yeah, right here there's a huge dent. You can see that. Right there. And another one down here. And yeah, just overall it's pretty beat up. Then I I don't like when they do stuff like this. They have roll, try to roll the fenders, and every time you would um, you'll be driving, and it the bed would hit down, and this this would be scraping on the tire. Same thing on the other side. This side's decent, decent shape, but like I said, I'm I'm really trying to find the quadster bed or. A step side, but if anything, I'll just look for another one of these. But yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't want to keep this bed. It's just too much work and it'll be too much time to try to fix. So yeah, let's what's up, guys? It is the next day. Um, Yesterday, I had uh, just pressure washed the, the chassis so I can get it ready for paint. And I decided just to leave it over overnight so I could um, fully dry and everything so it could be good. So I don't have to be worrying about any wet spots or anything like that. I did end up taking off the shocks. And let me tell you, those are worn out. Um, I'll show you guys here in a bit. But right now, I'm about to... I am about to start just um, taking off some of the electrical wiring and then um, just going ahead and start painting and taping up some spots that I don't want to get painted on. So let me start on that. This is how the chassis ended up. Came out better than how it was looking before. I'm just have to be take these off, take off all the wiring right there. Came out pretty good, better than I expected. I thought it was just gonna stay the same, but no, it came out pretty, pretty decent. Look at these. They are pretty worn out, so I'm gonna have to start looking for some. This one's. Kind of a little bit better than the other one, but either way, both need to be replaced. But yeah, let me start. Actually, start now tipping up like right there, right here, the fuel tank. I'll uh, probably take this neck off and just slide out, um, tape up some of that. And yeah, let me get started on that.
All right, uh, so I just finished undercutting the whole back half of the truck, or the chassis, and it came up pretty decent, uh, better than what it was. All that surface truss on there, now it'll look a little bit better. I'll probably end up um, giving it another pass because I did three, three coats, like three cans, I guess. And yeah, I ran out, so. I don't feel like going to the store right now, but, you know, it came out pretty decent. But, um, I was going to keep sanding and doing all that in this video, but I think that I'll save that for another video. Because in the next, here in a couple of days, I did order the whole front suspension from, um, upper control arms, lower ball joints, um, the sway bar links, and all of that. I did order new, some headlights for it, um, and just little stuff. Uh, recently, I did uh, did the oil change and um, spark plugs on there. And whenever I was doing the oil change, uh, I came across something that... I, I mean, I wish I didn't find out, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, the transmission housing has a crack in it. I was, I was shocked, but I was in, it's not too, nothing too major. Um, I guess I'll fix that later on uh, also, but I'll show you guys here how it looks. <sighs> All right, so, um... Right now I'm under the truck, and this is the crank that's on the housing in the 4080. I didn't expect it to be this much oil, but I guess I'll figure what I'm, I'll do about that later on. But yeah, that was a sight I did not want to see. It was... So that's the torque converter. And probably should have checked it out whenever I was buying the truck, but oh well, it is what it is. You live and learn. Well, yeah, it's not the major. I just have to figure out um, where I can find uh, just the housing itself. Because the transmission works fine, shifts, everything. But um, I just don't want to have that big old crack right there all right guys so that's gonna be it for this video um i hope it was a little bit more interesting than the first video but uh, i hope y'all liked it and hope y'all stick around i do have a couple things coming up for this truck the whole suspension headlights um a little interior stuff and yeah and uh here in a couple more days, I am going to start actually start on the sanding process and grinding on the roof and starting all the body work on that. So hopefully you guys stick around and thanks. Ho hopefully you guys like the video, like, subscribe, comment, and share. So thank you.